In single leg jumping, we have two different styles. Okay, so we have power jumping, which is a little bit of a slower jump. So you're gonna see a little more knee bend on the plant leg and then a longer contact time in your takeoff plant. Okay, then along with that, the swing leg is gonna sweep with the foot close to the ground, right? Or you might even hear people drag the toe sometimes on their way up. Then we have speed jumping, which uses a quicker takeoff. So you're generally gonna see a little less knee bend and a shorter contact time in the takeoff plant. And then since the takeoff is quicker, the swing leg also has to be quicker. So you'll see that when the uh, takeoff leg is planting, the swing leg will actually be doing a butt kick because what happens is you shorten the lever of your leg so you can uh, whip it through faster. So it's gonna butt kick and then fly through like that at takeoff. So notice, when you need to move the swing leg quickly, you butt kick, you pick your foot up, okay? Now, let's think about early acceleration in a sprint. If I'm using low heel recovery, keeping my foot close to the ground, I am leaving my lever, my leg, long, right? It's got greater rotational inertia. It's gonna take me longer to swing the leg through. So low heel recovery is not a quickness method. It is not going to help you increase your stride rate. In fact, it's probably gonna be the opposite. Now, the potential benefit is because your leg has more rotational inertia when it's left long, you can gain more momentum from swinging it. So when you use low heel recovery, you should be able to get more momentum on each stride, but it is gonna take a little bit more time. Now, whether or not that's a good trade-off for a particular person is going to depend on their individual characteristics and abilities, which means we really should not be trying to coach anybody into a low heel recovery acceleration model.